What's up guys, this is Grand Crystal Star here, bringing you my next super short let's play of Oregon Trail 2, 25th Anniversary Limited Edition. <coughs> Excuse me. This is probably going to be one of my super short let's plays, probably a 3-4 parter, maybe 5 if I decide to do something at the end. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. This is the Trail Journal of Grand is an adventurer, because as a greenhorn you can't be promoted to captain, and as a trail guide you'll get fired if the morale falls too low. And I believe I want to start as a Wainwright, because they have the ability to fix wagon parts and such. Um, let's head out in May of 1852 for no real reason, heading from Nauvoo, or Nauvoo, however you want to say it, to Sacramento, because I want to draw out this uh, Let's Play. I want to make it longer in length. And let's start with a Conestoga wagon. can hold 5,000 pounds. Uh, accompanied by five others. Um, when, account when encountering strangers, there's a chance that they will steal from you. So, in order to find the culprit, more efficiently, we need to bring along Nancy Drew. I'm just going to make everyone 20 years old because I believe that is the optimal age for people in this game. Oops, there we go. We also need someone who whines a lot and complains about everything. People who have played the second game of the Paper Mario series know know that Flavio fits that description perfectly. We also need some guy because he doesn't get enough love. Let's see, who else? Nope. Dot. AVI. <laughs> and a shovel. Because <laughs> why not? I'm gonna choose skills, because a lot of people forget to do this, actually. Um, we need medical, so that people don't die as much when they're sick or injured. Uh, farming and animals, because that gives us smallpox immunity, or at least the game tells us. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice cracked. But right here, the game kind of lies to you, because I chose this once, and while playing a game of this, well, game, someone still ended up getting smallpox. Even though I chose that skill. What the heck, game? Ugh. Musical for morale boost. And also commerce and trade so we can get better deals in trading. And everyone's name is gone. But I can fix this. Not really sure why that happens. So I believe we're good. Let's travel the trail. Prologue. You're a Wainwright who has come to Nauvoo, or who has come to Nauvoo in 1852 for the purpose of clicking this big red X button up here because nobody ever cares about the prologue. You guy, you have stuff here. Merchants here in town. No, I need to buy my own crap. First place you want to go is Schmidt and Sons because they have 675 pounds of bacon. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to be descending down this little drop-down box here. First things first is animals. Uh they have oxen here for whatever reason. Clothing, we don't want to freeze to death. Three bonnets just for Nancy Drew. Uh, let's get six pairs of boots. Six hats. Because without them we can't do anything! We're physically incapable of doing anything if we're not wearing a hat. We also need pairs of long underwear. Don't know why they can't be short. Anyway, pairs of mittens. We need these. 
Sets of clothing. That is expensive, but it will be worth it. It will pay off in the later months. Let's buy eight winter coats, which is around the same price as eight sets of clothing. But I don't care. Like I said, it will pull off and I mean, it'll pay off in the long run. <laughs> I'm going to buy five boxes of 20 bullets and kegs of gunpowder. Because I don't really see myself um, hunting all that much in this game. And besides, I suck at it anyways. Um, it's easier just to trade for some. Especially since I have commerce trade skills. Anyway, let's get 45 pounds of celery. 50 pounds of coffee beans. Gotta get a jump start in the morning. Gotta jump to the start of everything. Uh, we also have to get dried fruit for $33 and dried vegetables for $22. Um, let's see, what else do we need here? Let's get some garlic. Make our bread smell really bad. Gotta get some ham. Can't make bacon without the ham. Uh, I believe that honey does not spoil, actually. Very useful. Except it's only 18 jars of honey and they're only 16 ounces. I don't care! We have a bunch of other stuff. 10 slabs of lard. Like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get some onions all up in here. For $30. Pickles! Gotta get pickles. Let's see. Um, what would that be? 10 would be like 200 pounds. No, this 8 would be 200 pounds. I fail at math today. And every other day of the week. Which in this case today is Saturday, I believe. Is it? Yes, today is Saturday. Let's get... This is not the time to be doing math, Grand. So stop trying to bore your viewers with everything that you do. Because... Because why not? Yeast cake! It's not Gennady. It's probably a lie. Furniture. I don't think that this serves much purpose other than just weighing down your wagon. So, I'm just gonna skip that. Medicines! Definitely need medicines in case people get sick or injured. Alum, I believe, is, is an, uh, an astringent that you can use for cuts and crap like that. Camphor is used for concussions, because in my experiences, people love to get concussions in this game. People messing around on top of the wagon. Get your minds out of the gutter, I know what you're thinking. You people... Really need to learn some kind of skill, I don't know what it is, but it's some kind of skill and learn it. <sighs> Get some peppermint, because I think that's... Um... An alternate medicine. Sarsaparilla, gotta get some root beer all up in here. Something I'm confused on is that whiskey, sarsaparilla, I mean sarsaparilla, or whatever it's called, and brandy are all medicines. I don't understand. Miscellany. Musical instruments and games for morale boosts. Uh, let's get eight blankets for just under 20 bucks. I mean, 18. Whatever, you people. Stop being so weird. <laughs> no, you people aren't weird. Let's get 60 candles. That seems like a great idea. Let's get uh, two decks of playing cards and a fiddle. And a set of checkers. And a flute. And a guitar gonna make a full-fledged bluegrass band. 
pretty sure that grease is actually used for something, like wagon parts, I think it was. Um, lantern oil. I've got 50, that's... expensive. Let's actually get 25. There we go, that's more affordable. Five boxes of matches. Actually, let's make it ten. Going double all up in here. Uh, soap. Pretty sure is so that people don't get food poisoning. Tents are heavy, so I'm not gonna get that. Let's see here. Spices! I don't think there's much use for spices. Except for pepper, salt, and sugar. Well, even pepper and sugar don't have much use. But I don't get- What?! How does ten- Ten sacks of sugar cost almost fifty dollars? That's almost as steep as today's prices. What the heck, man? Let's get some salt. You can actually put the salt on the meat that you shoot when you hunt. I think that makes it last longer. Two axes. For chopping stuff. <laughs> um, three butcher knives. So that if the need arises, we can get more meat from butchering our animals. Um, Twelve canteens. We need canteens. Don't want to die of thirst. And people do that a lot in this game. Especially in the deserts. Like, the Great Salt Desert, I'm pretty sure. Which we're gonna have to be going through, by the way. Fishing nets! Yay. Fishing poles and fishing spears! I'm pretty sure that you can catch fish if you rest near a river that's deep enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. Princess. <laughs> no. Forget that I referenced that. That's a terrible cartoon, and it always will be in my eyes. Unless they somehow figure out how to make it better, which I doubt they will. Lanterns! Get six lanterns so everyone can carry one. Um, 16 30-foot lengths of rope. That helps us with the hills and such. Them hills, man! One set of cooking utensils, and... Six sets of eating utensils. Actually, let's make it twelve. Go and double all up in here. Not that way. It's people. Get your minds out of the gutter. Yeah, get that rake. Go up to your gutter and get your mind out of there. <laughs> that would be kind of cool if there actually was a rake in your room or wherever you're watching this. Wow, we... $888. <laughs> our total cost. Two washboards. Washing clothes. Twelve water kegs. We definitely need those. Wagon parts? No, he doesn't have any. Um, so our total cost is $902.47. And our wagon already weighs over 7,000 pounds, close to 8,000. So, yeah, we're gonna have to buy another wagon. Um... Three blouses just for Nancy Drew. And dresses. Let's get some pairs of pants! Doesn't that bug you? I'm putting F emphasis on the P. I bet it doesn't. Six raincoats. Get some shirts. Pairs of. Six pairs of shoes! Skirts and ten pairs of socks. Because I want. Excuse me. There you go, Oregon Trail. Don't be doing that to me, man. It's not nice. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna buy a Conestoga wagon. I'm not sure if a large farm wagon is enough. Medicines! Need medicines. Go down to medicines. Alright. Aloe vera! We can apply that if 
someone gets a horrible, horrible skin disease. Like gangrene, because that totally works with aloe vera. Unless you're stupid, you would have realized that I was being sarcastic. Um, let's see here. Let us see here. What do we got? Epicac. Gotta get that. Gotta have a puking contest down the trail. Gotta have some kind of entertainment. That's the best kind of entertainment they offer out there. Seven bottles of laudanum. And Lexan, I think, is for the grip. Um, Quinnin. Not really sure what's that. What that's used for, but it, they have it, so let's get it. <laughs> Okay, so, gunsmith, gotta get guns. We need guns. Three rifles. Holy crap, that's expensive. Anyway, let's go to the sta- Why are you in front of the stables? Let's go in the stables and get some oxen. I already have ten. Now we have thirty-one! Twenty-one times the power. And we can leave now. Hoorays! Alright, so, before setting out, you need to pick a wagon train to travel with. The following tra wagon trains are about to s about ready to set out for Sacramento. Which do you want to go with? Let's go with train 2. So that we can not be lonely. <laughs> First, we gotta go back into town and get some more... Bacon! 675 pounds of bacon. Heck yeah!